Today through this video we are going to learn traffic light signal which is there how to do wiring of this signal. As you know that in traffic light total three lights are used red, yellow and green. We will control these three lights in a way that first of all red light will turn on, after this yellow light will blink, after this green light will glow. Now when you go for wiring of traffic light then there you have to use total three timer. After using these three timer only you can control these three lights. But today I am going to explain you wiring of traffic light by using a microcontroller. This microcontroller I have we call this as Arduino board. What is Arduino board? Let's understand this first. Look this Arduino board I have we do programming in this Arduino board. According to programming you will get output command. Through this output command we can turn on and off any load. Now this Arduino board I have to operate this Arduino board on this pin in this board here a pin is given. To this pin we have to provide power supply of 5 volt. To provide power supply of 5 volt to this pin I am using a adapter of 5 volt. Output of this adapter here, here we will get output power supply. So I am connecting this with this pin in this way. Now in this board you can see terminals which are given here. From this we get output power supply. Through this board output signal we will get is of very low voltage. I mean lamp we have all these lamps here we cannot operate these lamps directly through this board. So to turn on and off these three indication lamps we have to use a relay module here. This relay module I have this is of 5 volt. I mean relay which is connected here to turn on this I have to provide power supply of 5 volt. To provide power supply to this, this Arduino board I have on this Arduino board you can see here ground and 5 volt terminal is there. On ground and 5 volt terminal we connected two wires. Now what we have to do this relay module here to operate this relay module here ground and VCC terminal here to these we have to provide power supply. To ground terminal ground power supply that is negative power supply we have to provide. So this purple wire here this is for ground so I am connecting this with ground pin. Now take this grey wire and connect with VCC terminal. VCC means positive terminal. Now in this relay module these four relay here to operate these relay we have to give command. To give command this Arduino board here output terminal of this here this output terminal is used. So I am using three jumper wires. Take this jumper wire and these output terminals here among these four number terminal here I am using this. With four number terminal I connected red wire. With seven number terminal I connected yellow wire. And with ten number terminal I connected green wire. It means right now I am using three terminals and through these three terminals relay number one, relay number two and relay number three I will operate these three relay. Now these three wires here take these and for these three relay input command terminal which is there we have to do connection with these. So I am removing this wire after this take these three wires and with in 1, in 2 and in 3 with these three terminals connect these wires. So to operate these three relay we connected the wires which generates output command. Now if I connect adapter and along with this if I turn on power supply. As you can see to turn on one number relay we are getting power supply here. It means right now relay number 1 is on. Now relay number 2 and after this to turn on relay number 3 it is getting command. It means relay is operating. Now through these relay we will turn on and off all these lights. How we are going to do it let's understand. What you have to do this relay number 1, relay number 2 and relay number 3 here short common terminals of all of these with each other. It means you can see this relay here common terminal of this is this one. So I am connecting one wire with this terminal. Take other end of this wire and connect with common terminal of relay number 2. After this with common terminal of relay number 2 connect one more wire and take other end of this wire and with common terminal of relay number 3 connect this wire. It means we short common terminals of all of these relay. Now these traffic lights here we have to do connection of these through these relay. How to do connection let's understand this. Look these three traffic lights here I already connected neutral power supply to these. You can see this wire here it will be connected with neutral power supply. It means to this indication lamp we provided neutral power supply. Now through a wire this lamp is looped and again through a wire this lamp. So I connected neutral power supply with all the three lamps. Now phase wires of all these lamps here I kept these wires in open condition. 
we have to do connection of these. For connection of these three lamps, we have to use anode contact of this relay. First of all, this stop indication lamp here, I am doing connection of this. Take phase wire of this indication and connect with anode contact. I connected the wire with anode contact. Now take phase wire of yellow lamp and connect with anode contact of two number relay. After this, green light here, take phase wire of green light and connect with anode contact of three number relay. In this way, we will do the connection. Now common terminal of these three relay here, on this common terminal, we have to connect phase supply. For this, I am using this piece of wire. I am connecting this wire with this common terminal. I mean with common terminal of relay number one, I connected this wire. Now this phase supply wire we have and this neutral power supply wire here, connect these with AC power supply. I mean with 230 volt AC power supply, you have to do connection of these. So with these two terminals, I am connecting these two wires. You can see here phase supply and neutral supply is connected. So our connection is completed. So till now we did only wiring. Now we have to do programming in this Arduino board. We have to do programming in a way that this Arduino board here will work like these three timer. That is first timer will glow the red indication lamp. Second timer will glow the yellow indication lamp and third timer will glow the green indication lamp. So work of all the three timer will be done by this Arduino board alone. How it will do this? Look here. For programming of this Arduino board, there is a software. You have to install that software in your PC or laptop. I already installed it. After opening this software, here you have to write the programming. I already written the whole programming. If you want to do wiring of traffic signal and for this, if you need programming, then I will make a PDF of this whole programming and I will provide it in description. You can download it and simply copy that programming. Our programming is already written. We just have to send programming to this relay module. For this, we need to use a connector. What I will do, this laptop I have, with this, I am connecting this. Take other end of this and with this port, connect this in this way. I connected this. Now to upload this programming, I just need to press this button. After pressing this, programming will set in this Arduino board. After this, I will remove this. How I did the programming right now, let's understand this once. Look, first of all, when I turn on the power supply, then this red indication here, it will glow for 5 seconds. After this, this yellow indication lamp will glow for 5 seconds, 3 times. That is, I did a blinking effect in this. After this, green indication lamp will glow for 5 seconds. When it will turn off, suddenly this red indication lamp will glow again. Now when I turn on the power supply, you can see, first of all, red indication lamp is glowing. For only 5 seconds, it will glow. After this, yellow indication lamp started blinking. After this, green indication lamp started glowing. When green indication lamp turned off, red indication lamp started glowing. After this, yellow indication lamp will blink. You can see yellow indication lamp is blinking. It will blink three times. After that, green indication lamp turned on. Just to explain you, I am operating these indication lamps for five seconds. If you make a traffic light practically, then there you have to program the traffic light that for how much time you need to glow a light. So friends, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, do like, share and comment on this video. And if you didn't subscribe my channel yet, Please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.